Okay, so today we're going to learn how to read a recipe. And this is going to show you how to um, look at a list of ingredients if they've forgotten to give you the um, the steps, the step by step, you'll be able to make this recipe with no problem. So I've gone to allrecipes.com and I'm going to look up soups because soups are usually done in stages, which uh, recipes are written in stages, um, meaning that the uh, items go in order of how they're used in the recipe. So let's just uh, pull this one up. This is an Italian sausage soup with tortellini. We're going to have, uh, what's this? So we're going to have our list of ingredients here. So we have our uh, sweet Italian sausage, chopped onion, uh, garlic cloves, uh, five cups of beef broth, half a cup of water, half a cup of red wine, four large tomatoes peeled, peeled seeded, and chopped. Uh, you could use canned. One cup of thinly sliced carrots, thinly sliced. That right there is the optimal um, adjective. Adjective. Uh, half a tablespoon of basil leaves. You got another half a tablespoon or half a teaspoon of dried oregano. A can of tomato sauce, zucchini, sliced zucchini, uh, tortellini pasta, and then some fresh parsley. And I don't see any salt and pepper on here, which you should probably um, have that just in case uh, you uh, want to add some flavor to it. On these recipes, usually you can adjust the amounts. I'm going to leave it right here at eight. This would be eight servings. Um, but let's look at, uh, let, pretend like we don't even see any any uh, instructions and we're just looking at this list of ingredients. So you have a pound of sweet Italian sausage. This is going to be uncooked. Uh, casings are removed. So it's like ground sausage, ground sweet Italian sausage. Uh, it's going to be uncooked. So this is going to be the first thing you do. You know you have a soup, so you know you're going to have, you can even look at the volume here. So five cups plus a half a cup plus another half a cup. So that's a gallon and a half of liquid that you're going to be adding to this, plus the volume of the, the meat, the onions, um, the, the tomatoes, the carrots, and the can of tomato sauce. There's lots of volume here, right? You're probably going to end up with two gallons of volume. So we're going to start with the Italian sausage. It's at the top of the list. So what you're going to want to do is cook this off. So we're going to put this in a pot. Um, we're going to saute this with no oil because there's plenty of oil in the Italian sausage. You notice that they didn't have any oil listed. So we're just using the Italian sausage. Once it's cooked off, we're going to use the oil from that. So we're going to cook our Italian sausage until it's um, cooked through. Um, we're going to then add our onion. And we want to cook our onion until it's softened. And then we'll add our clove, our, our garlic cloves. We don't want to add the garlic cloves at the same time. Uh, and the reason for this is um, you don't want the garlic to overcook. Uh, you just want the garlic to perfume a little bit. So you just want a couple minutes on this. You probably want, I don't know, four or five minutes on your chopped onion, depending on how high of heat you have. Um, but then, so we'll, we'll add our onions with the Italian sausage. We'll cook those down until they're starting to get soft. Then we'll add our garlic, same thing, a couple minutes until they start getting soft and you start to smell the garlic. Then you're gonna add, keep on coming down the list, then you're gonna add your liquid here. So you're gonna add your beef broth, your half a cup of water, and your half a cup of red wine. Uh, you're also gonna add your large tomatoes that are peeled, seeded, and chopped, your thinly sliced carrots, and your, um, you can even add uh, your can of tomato sauce, and then you can add your, your uh, herbs here too, your fresh basil leaves and your oregano, okay? Um, you're gonna cook that down um, for probably 20 minutes. Uh, you want the soup to start coming together and the flavors to melt. Um, and then you're gonna look down here. So the reason why I didn't add the zucchini to this is because that zucchini is gonna overcook. Uh, it cooks fast. That's another thing you have to look at. Tortellini pasta, same thing. It's going to cook fast, so you don't want to add that quite yet. Um, so once you've cooked this for 20 minutes or so, um, you're going to want to, uh, oh, and I forgot to say, so you're going to bring this to a boil. Once you add your liquids, you're going to bring it to a boil, and then you're going to simmer it. Uh, and what simmering does is it keeps everything from falling apart too much. 
Like you don't want your carrots to kind of, you know, bounce around in a boiling pot and you don't want your tomatoes doing the same thing. You just want them to cook. You don't want them to like disintegrate. So you're going to turn it down to a simmer. So it's just slowly simmering, right? So slim, simmer for about 20 minutes. And then we're going to add the zucchini because it's going to have to cook. Uh, and I'm going to say probably 10 minutes you'll, you'll cook your zucchini. Um, then we're going to add our uh, tortellini pasta because really this is already cooked. You just need to, because um, uh, these are fresh. You're not going to be able to get this uh, dried. Um, and if you do, then you'll need to cook it off prior and, um, and cool it just so it doesn't overcook. Uh, but since we don't want to overcook it, you know, we're only going to put this in for five minutes or so just to heat it through. Uh, and then this, the chopped parsley here is really for a garnish. So this is at the end. You could either put this as a garnish on the, uh, you know, on your bowl, uh, on a bowl of it, or, you know, kind of have it on the side and just kind of serve it with that on top. Or you could put it in at the last minute. That's fine too. So that's what um, I'm getting out of this uh, recipe. Now, if you come down and look at their, come on down to where their directions are. Um, so they've got a five quart Dutch oven, right? So they're going to brown the sausage. They're saying to remove it and drain. Uh, I say leave it in. I always just leave mine in. Uh, it just adds extra flavor. It says reserve a tablespoon of the dripping. So then you put your onions in, but it's saying put your onion and garlic at the same time. Now, depending on the size of your onions, you probably don't want to mince it like you do your garlic. You want to have some substance to it. You want to be able to see it. So you're going to, they're going to be bigger pieces. They're going to take longer to cook. So that's why I do the onions first. Um, but they have onions and then garlic uh, uh, saute that. Doesn't tell you how long or give you even um, what you're looking for, like softened or browned or... Um, you know, sweated. Those are some typical terms. Uh, and then it says to stir in the beef broth, the water, wine, tomatoes, carrots, basil, all this other stuff, which uh, is what we got out of it as well. Again, bring to a boil. You do this on every soup. Bring to a boil and then you reduce the heat to simmer. You're going to simmer it uncovered. Um, uh, they put that there and they're doing it for 30 minutes. So it's a 30 minute simmer. Then you're going to, it says skim the fat. I wouldn't do that. I would leave the fat in. Uh, you're not going to have much fat because you've already, in this recipe, you've already pulled the fat uh, from when the sausage was cooked. So you're not going to have much fat to, to remove, but I think that adds flavor. Then it says to put in your uh, zucchini and parsley at the same time. Um, uh, and then simmer that for 30 minutes. I think that's too long. You're going to overcook your uh, zucchini. Um, but then you add your tortellini uh, during the last 10 minutes and sprinkle Parmesan cheese on top for serving. So basically what I came up with is similar to what they've got. I'm just doing different times because I um, am familiar with making a soup. Uh, so I'm just doing it uh, for different times and for different reasons. Uh, although they didn't put their reasons, but I'm assuming different reasons. Uh, like with the zucchini, I don't want to cook them for 30 minutes. Uh, I think 10 or 15 minutes at, at the at the top. Well, even if you do 10 minutes and then you add your tornellini for another five or 10 minutes, you're looking at 15 minutes there, 20 minutes. If you do it for 30 minutes and then 10, that's another 40 minutes. So that zucchini is going to be mush and you don't want that. You want it to have some substance to it and look good. Uh, but that's how you read a recipe. You read it from top to bottom. Most of the time, all the time, they're going to have it in order of how it's used in the recipe. Just remember that it's, it's the order in which it was used. And then at the very end, remember, you want to taste it and make sure it's got enough salt and pepper. Uh, but that's it. Hopefully um, that made a lot of sense to everybody. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you got any comments, just leave them below.